Hello kittens, welcome back, said the cat. For some reason I am... What size? <laughs> oh, there we go, alright. So, uh, welcome to the stream. Today we are working on a multiplayer game called uh, Drifter. Drifter is a space shooter game with a twist. Uh, the plan is for it to be massively multiplayer. I'm hoping for over 100 players in a round. Uh, so to enable that, we are going to use Elixir as the backend service. And we're using Godot as our game client. So let's switch over. Yep. Um, So there is also another twist to the game, so it's not just a space shooter. Um, the premise is a little bit like uh, players collect letters from the environment in order to spell words, messages, and solve puzzles. And yesterday we were working on the chain of letters that is supposed to sort of follow the player. Uh, think a little bit like Snake. And uh, we got that working in a, in a basic sense, but now I think we're going to want to add some uh, an anchor at the end of the chain so that the chain sort of drags behind the player a bit more because it's a bit floaty. But let's jump in and have a look at where we're at now, and then we'll start coding. Okay, so I've just got the Godot editor open here, and we have our main scene, our level tutorial, uh, and the player, quite simple, and we've got a network node which we've currently got disabled because uh, we're not using the network just now and it's just uh, wasting CPU cycles. So, uh, and okay, so if I push play, We've got our little spaceship, and as we pick up letters, they start to join the chain behind the player. And slowly, you should be able to write words. Unfortunately, uh, as you can see, there's no real drag behind the player. So the chain uh, doesn't really feel much like a chain, and it's not really affected very much by gravity, so it can get quite tangled easily, so as you can see there. Um, we need to put some dampening on those joints, and you can see that R is just spinning around. <laughs> uh, cool. Alright, so that's sort of what we're going to be working on today. Uh, today is going to be a short stream, because it's Friday. and. Um, I got better things to do than sitting around talking to you guys. I'm joking. Okay, so what I think we need is some sort of anchor. Uh, I want to maybe sw swap this sprite around with something else um, because I kind of feel like uh, it just feels a bit too phallic now. Um, and I think maybe that sprite will look better at the tail end of the chain instead of uh, at the beginning of it. So I might also hmm. okay. Yeah, no, no. Okay. So let's have a look at our chain joint here quickly. Uh, I think we want to put, push this up slightly, push the bias up, uh, the softness, I think we want to bring this down a little bit, 
Okay, and then I think we want to just give a little bit of ang more angular dampening to these uh, chain links. So maybe let's put them. Maybe in just one. Two. See how that feels. Okay, so that's, I think, feeling a little bit better. So the, the chain doesn't feel like it's uh, quite so uh, bouncy. But we do definitely need that drag to straighten it out behind the player. Otherwise, it just gets tangled up and it's not getting affected enough by gravity. So. Okay, so that angular dampening uh, does appear to be causing an issue now, I think. So these these chain links should really be colliding with each other. I'm just going to check that that's the case. So we're going to look at this uh, start link here. Uh, might give it a little bit more mass. I think this angular dampening should be like quite. Hmm. Just a little bit of linear dampening. Okay, so this physics body is on the player chain layer. And we're looking for collisions with the player chain, the environment, other players, and player. I'd like to maybe put a constraint on the joint at some point, but I'm not sure if there's much available to us out of the box. We probably have to script that ourselves. Okay, and then this chain link, I think the chain link actually, we probably don't want much angular dampening at all. Okay, so let's have a look at our assets. Um, so we've got some temporary art downloaded from uh, Kenny, K-E-N-N-E-Y, quite a prolific uh, 